In the heart of Beverly Hills, where opulence and prestige are the norms, a shocking crime unfolds, shattering the illusion of the perfect American family. This is not just a story of murder. It's a tale that delves deep into the complex fabric of family bonds, secrets, and the dark side of the American dream. Meet the Menendez family. Jose, a self-made millionaire with an iron will. Kitty, his devoted wife, and their two sons, Lyle and Eric, who grew up with every possible privilege. But beneath this picture-perfect facade lies a hidden layer of turmoil, setting the stage for a tragedy that would captivate the nation. On a seemingly ordinary night in 1989, the unimaginable happens. Jose and Kitty Menendez are found brutally murdered in their own home, the victims of a gruesome attack, the culprits, the last people anyone would suspect, their own sons. As the case unfolds, it becomes a media sensation, a courtroom drama laden with twists and turns. Now, after you entered the den, I was just firing as I went into the room. I just started firing. In what direction? In front of me. What was in front of you? My parents. Allegations of abuse, greed, and a fight for justice emerge, challenging our perceptions of right and wrong, family loyalty, and the lengths to which people will go to protect their secrets. The Menendez brothers' saga is a reminder that sometimes the most shocking tales are hidden behind the closed doors of what seems to be the most ordinary homes. Join us as we unravel the layers of this complex case from the idyllic streets of Beverly Hills to the dramatic courtroom battles. This is more than just a crime story. It's an exploration into the darkest corners of the human heart and a system grappling with the truth. The Menendez family, once a symbol of the American success story, hid a vastly different reality behind the closed doors of their Beverly Hills mansion. Jose Menendez, an immigrant who achieved the American dream through sheer determination, became a powerful executive in the entertainment industry. His wife, Kitty, a teacher turned devoted homemaker, supported his ambitions while managing their home. To the outside world, their sons, Lyle and Eric led a life of privilege and opportunity, attending the best schools, excelling in tennis, and living a life many could only dream of. But beneath this facade of perfection, tensions simmered. Jose's expectations for his sons were unyielding, his approach often authoritarian. Kitty, caught between her husband's ambitions and her son's well-being, struggled with her own demons. Lyle, the elder, was expected to pave the way, his every achievement setting the benchmark for Eric. The pressure to succeed to uphold the Menendez name became a towering presence in their lives. Eric, sensitive and less assertive, found himself lost in his brother's shadow, his aspirations often sidelined by the weight of expectation. Their life in Beverly Hills, a world where status and material success reigned supreme, only amplified the pressures. Friends and acquaintances envied their lifestyle, unaware of the growing rifts within. The brothers sought solace in each other. Their bond strengthened in the face of their parents' demanding expectations and the isolation that often accompanies wealth. As the cracks in the family facade deepened, the brothers increasingly found themselves cornered, desperate to escape the expectations that bound them. What appeared to be a charmed life was, in truth, a gilded cage, one that would drive the Menendez brothers down a path from which there was no return. In the end, the pursuit of perfection revealed its ultimate price as a family's legacy crumbled under the weight of secrets too heavy to bear. Stay with us as we delve into the night that changed everything, a turning point that would expose the dark heart of an American tragedy. Lyle and Eric, driven by motives shrouded in secrecy and pain, embarked on a chilling journey of preparation. August 20th, 1989, marked the culmination of their scheme. As evening fell, 
The Menendez household settled into an unsuspecting calm. Jose and Kitty, entrenched in the comfort of their den, were unaware of the fate that awaited them. With chilling precision, Lyle and Eric executed their plan. The brutality of the act was stark, leaving Jose and Kitty fatally wounded, their lives ending in a home that once symbolized their success. In the aftermath of the carnage, the brothers embarked on a calculated attempt to cover their tracks. Leaving the scene, they disposed of their shotguns and bought movie tickets, a cold, calculated move to fabricate their alibi. As the night deepened, they returned to their blood-stained home, dialing 911 in feigned horror. Reporting the discovery of their parents, the Beverly Hills Police Department, led by detectives Zola and Linehan, arrived to a scene that bewildered them. The brutality suggested a professional hit, yet something seemed amiss. As they navigated the crime scene, the brothers' behavior, overly theatrical yet oddly detached, began to sow seeds of doubt. In the interrogation rooms, Lyle and Eric's portrayals of grief struck the investigators as rehearsed, their stories overly polished. The absence of forced entry, the precise nature of the and the brothers' sudden inheritance windfall painted a picture that didn't quite align with a random act of violence. As dawn broke over the city, the facade of the Menendez family had been irrevocably shattered. The investigation into Jose and Kitty's deaths would unravel a web of lies, greed and hidden torment, propelling the Menendez brothers into the centre of a legal and media storm that would captivate and divide the nation. The discovered shotgun receipt was a chilling testament to premeditation. This receipt, coupled with the brothers' hasty attempts to dispose of the shotguns in a dumpster in Monterey Park, indicated a level of planning that contradicted their initial portrayal as grieving sons. The coup de grace, however, was the discovery of Eric's voice on a recorded confession to his psychologist, a breach of trust that would prove catastrophic for the brothers. Financial records laid bare the brothers' extravagant spending in the aftermath of their parents' deaths. Purchases of Rolex watches, luxury cars, and even a Buffalo Wings restaurant painted a picture of indulgence that was hard to reconcile with their initial claims of shock and loss. This reckless expenditure became a damning indictment of their true motives. Behavioral evidence further eroded the brothers' facade, their demeanor at social events seemingly untroubled by the recent loss of their parents, struck many as incongruent with genuine grief. Friends and acquaintances noted a chilling lack of remorse, a detail that detectives seized upon as indicative of guilt. With each piece of evidence, the case against Lyle and Eric Menendez grew stronger, weaving a narrative of greed, deceit and betrayal that was hard to dismiss. As the brothers continued to live a life of luxury, unaware of the noose tightening around them, the investigative team worked tirelessly, determined to bring justice for Jose and Kitty Menendez. The stage was set for a trial that would captivate the nation, a courtroom drama where the truth, no matter how disturbing, would finally come to light. The trial of Lyle and Eric Menendez unfolded like a script from a Hollywood drama, drawing the eyes of the nation to a courtroom where the lines between victim and perpetrator, truth and deception, were blurred by layers of emotion and intrigue. The prosecution presented the case as a clear act of premeditated murder, driven by greed and a desire to claim the Menendez fortune. They painted Lyle and Eric as cold, calculating killers who executed their parents in cold blood, only to indulge in a lavish spending spree with their ill-gotten gains. The defense, however, wove a different narrative. They portrayed the brothers as victims of a lifetime of abuse at the hands of their parents, arguing that the murders were not acts of greed, but desperate acts of self-defense. The courtroom was riven with emotion as Lyle and Eric took the stand, their testimonies a poignant mix of tears, regret, and shocking revelations of abuse. 
As the trial progressed, the jury and public were swayed by the gripping, often conflicting testimonies. The courtroom became a theater of human drama, where prosecutors and defense attorneys clashed not just over the facts, but over the interpretation of family, loyalty, and morality. Expert witnesses took the stand, offering insights into the psychological impact of abuse, the brother's mental state, and the forensic details of the crime. Each testimony added layers to the complex tapestry of the case, challenging jurors to question what they thought they knew about family dynamics and criminal intent. As the trial neared its conclusion, the tension within the courtroom was palpable. The fate of Lyle and Eric Menendez hung in the balance, their future resting in the hands of a jury, tasked with untangling a web of familial love, betrayal, and tragedy. The verdict, when it came, would echo far beyond the walls of the courtroom, sparking debates on justice, the nature of evil, and the scars left by unseen wounds within a family. The courtroom fell into a hushed silence as the jury filed in to deliver their verdict. The air was thick with tension, every breath held, every eye fixed on the jurors who held the brothers' lives in their hands. Guilty of first-degree murder, the words resonated through the courtroom, a final verdict that sealed the Menendez brothers' fate. The reaction to the verdict was immediate and visceral. Tears, gasps, and a palpable sense of relief from some, while others grappled with a complex mix of emotions. For Lyle and Eric, the verdict was a devastating blow, the realization of their worst fears coming to life. In the sentencing phase that followed, the courtroom drama reached its zenith. The prosecution argued for the maximum penalty, underscoring the premeditated nature of the crime. The defense pleaded for leniency, highlighting the brothers' troubled past and the alleged abuse they suffered. Ultimately, the judge sentenced Lyle and Eric Menendez to life in prison without the possibility of parole, a decision that echoed the jury's verdict and the gravity of their actions. The verdict and sentencing of the Menendez brothers marked the end of a trial that had captivated the nation. But it was only the beginning of a broader conversation. Issues of family violence, the complexities of the American justice system, and the nature of punishment and rehabilitation were thrust into the public discourse, challenging society to reflect on the deeper underlying issues at play. The Menendez brothers' trial, with its dramatic twists and turns, leaves us with more questions than answers. It's a stark reminder of the human capacity for both love and violence, the scars left by hidden wounds, and the ongoing quest for justice in an imperfect world. The trial also challenges us to consider the hidden dynamics within seemingly perfect families, raising questions about the nature of parental abuse, the psychological scars it leaves, and how society acknowledges and addresses these often invisible wounds. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Together, we can make a difference, one conversation at a time.